All right, good morning everyone. In this video, I'm going to tell you my preferred PD arrays for entry um, and and why I've decided to kind of shun shun some of the other some of the other um, entries. So uh, guys, the two PD arrays that I prefer are gaps and order blocks. So I don't really believe that in order to be profitable, I need to worry about breaker blocks, turtle soups, three drives patterns, anything. I mean, really order blocks and fair value gaps are really all I need. Um, breaker blocks are a form of fair value gap in the first place. Turtle soups are, I, I have no hope in, on earth of ever profitably trading turtle soups um, or anything really that's like a liquidity entry. Um, so with order blocks you have um, breaker blocks are included in that uh, mitigation blocks are included in that and obviously I can invert the order block so it can be an inverted order block and then fair value gaps obviously can be a normal fair value gap um, or an inverted fair value gap and then obviously you have new day opening gap new week and new week opening gap so if you had to ask me so what PD arrays am I sticking with uh, gaps and order blocks basically uh, and just waiting for gaps and order blocks to show up in the chart and and start trading from there. It uh, doesn't change the fact that you still have to look for buy side and sell side liquidity for draws on liquidity or anything like that. Uh, it's just the in entry mechanisms that I prefer. Um, again, the entry mechanisms that I prefer, uh, order blocks and fair value gaps. Uh, I don't think I'm really going to worry about the breakers anymore. Um, I don't think I need them to be profitable, uh, and I don't think I need turtle soups or three drives patterns or uh, trying to enter in on wicks, long wicks. Um, doesn't mean I will not notice notice them on higher time frames for draws on liquidity because I will. I'm just telling you that in terms of what I'm looking for to enter, it's gaps, so meaning fair value gaps or actual gaps like new day opening gap, regular trading hours gap. So gaps and order blocks. That's pretty much it, guys. So in this video, I covered my preferred entry patterns, which are gaps and order blocks. Um, does not mean that I will not draw out liquidity or other, you know, other things that I'm seeing in terms of, you know, draws on liquidity. But in terms of entries, guys, it's gaps and order blocks. Bye bye.